hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is just gonna be a day at home I am not going anywhere today what the heck is that all right then um so I'm not going anywhere today um I just got some of the Swiss cheese grated up I'm gonna be making mac and cheese like the homemade mac and cheese I'm gonna get it all prepped and then tonight when it's dinner time I can just throw it in the oven to bake um and I'm making steak and shrimp tonight with dinner because that's what Tim requested so it's gonna be steak shrimp and mac and cheese for dinner and then I might have some biscuits or make some cinnamon rolls or something afterwards um just got most of the counter cleaned off it still looks atrocious though um but most of it, most of it is cleaned up. Um, and then I got our deep freezer organized last night. That took about an hour and a half. <laughs> um, I essentially had to take everything out of the freezer and reorganize it. But... These I'm going to give to our friend because Ella does not like them. She will not eat them. Um, and there's still 50 waffles in there um, out of a 60 box, 60 count box. So I'm going to go ahead and give those to our friend. I think he's coming Saturday. Um, but then I got the rest of our stuff organized. So we've got like our frozen bread dough, uh, shrimp some chicken thighs and stuff like that that are still in their original packaging. Um, then we've got a layer of wings and stuff like that down there. And then down below all that is stuff like our big turkeys and stuff like that that we don't use. Up here we've got these Jimmy Dean uh, egg scramblers. So I froze these because they were going out of their Best Buy date. And then when I want to eat them, I will pull them out, thaw them, and do that. Do it that way. Um, we've got eight of my like chicken and broccoli cordon bleu things. Two are still in our main freezer. We've got her chocolate chip pancakes, her uncrustables, and some blueberries that I froze here. <coughs> and then this is a ham. Um, I picked it up at Giant Eagle yesterday. Um, and I just went ahead and froze it. It's a half ham here. Um, and then we've got all of our meats. So this is all of our hamburger. And then we've got all of our chicken and pork and stuff that I got yesterday. Um, down below that. So, I need to clean this top of this off. But I got that all organized last night. Um, so last night I got the meat all packaged up and then organized the freezer to get everything in there. <coughs> oh my gosh, I felt like a something tickle in the back of my throat. Um, anyways, so we've got all of that. Tim ran up to Patterson's, I believe it's called. Um, it's like a junkyard, uh, and he went up because our friend needs a new battery for his one car. So Tim went up to see if they had it. Um, he'll buy it for our friend and then our friend will pay us back. Um, so, you've got that, your Tim doing that. Um, I'm kind of trying to organize and clean up, but it's not going well because a lot of the crap is Tim's and I don't know where he wants to put it. And then I gotta make mac and cheese and everything like that, so this is gonna be a day. I didn't get like anything done yesterday because we were gone um, and then we came home and I started vacuum sealing everything and it was just a long day um, and then Tim actually got home at like 6 30 um, so we ended up going out to eat last night we had red lobster um, so that was pretty good um, I ended up getting the popcorn chicken popcorn chicken dinner Tim got a lobster something or other it's some type of like lobster alfredo -y type pasta 
Um, and then Ella just got mac and cheese, but that's all done. <coughs> um, but yeah, I just need to organize and everything and wait for him because he needs to do all of his crap. <laughs> so Ella's laying down right there. Um, it's been a rough day for her. I don't know what's been going on, but she hasn't wanted to play. She's just wanted to like lay down um, and watch Peppa, which I have no issues with. You know, I don't mind her laying down and watching some Peppa or Little Baby Bomb or, you know, whatever. Um, so I have no issues with it. Um, however, I asked her earlier, uh, just a few minutes ago, if she was hungry. And she said no, and I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, you don't have to go out and eat. And she started screaming, like I was going to force her to come out and eat. And I'm like, honey, I'm not, like, no, I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be one of those parents that, you know, makes you come out here and sit down and eat. Like, if you're hungry, you'll come out and eat. Um, but she was pointing to a their pizza crusts. She brought them into the bedroom here a little bit ago. And so I thought maybe she was hungry. That's why I asked her. Um, she said that she's not hungry. So, like, that's fine. I don't, like I said, I don't mind uh, if you don't want to eat. And then <clears throat> after that, um, I went to put her down and she started screaming at me again. And I'm like, what is going on? Um, so I got her her bank, um, her binky, and I just went ahead and put her in our bed, um, so that she could lay down and relax for a little bit, um, because I'm not entirely sure what is going on right now, like, she's just being uber crabby, um, but right now I'm currently, like, opening up these clothes here um, they're the ones that I got the other day for like two dollars a piece um, and I just took the bloomers out of the one dress and then I'm going to take the tags off because I am going to be washing all of this stuff before she wears it because I don't know who's touched it um, and I like to do that especially after watching the one episode of house last night um, We've been re-watching the seasons of House. Um, and in that one seat, or the one episode that we watched last night, um, it was the one, if you guys have watched House, it was the one where the pants were contaminated with like a pesticide and two kids got sick. So i um, just going to, you know, carefully wash all of this stuff um, and get it all ready my neighbor was walking down the lane um well she's not my neighbor neighbor but she lives two houses over um and so she was coming down the road here because there's one two three four five houses in this lane um so she lives two houses over um and the guy that lives next door um he was actually running off of my neighbor that was just walking down the lane, her and her husband, um, he has been MIA for like three, almost four months. Um, he's just been MIA. We don't know, like they don't know where he's at. Um, they had heard from him about two weeks after he left. Um, and he was down in West Virginia. I believe they said um, because I was asking like you know where he was because he just hasn't been around um, and I guess he went down to West Virginia because he has pancreatic cancer um, and it had flared up and so they he went down there to you know get his treatments and he just hasn't, I guess he hasn't paid his rent. He hasn't, like, 
messaged the people back. He hasn't gotten in contact with them in any shape, way, shape, or form. Um, and it's been like three months, so they're currently cleaning up his house. Um, which, I mean, that sucks, but, you know, if you don't pay your rent, obviously you're not going to get to live there. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know if we're going to end up getting new neighbors again before winter. Um, it's been almost a year since the lady that was in there, uh, for the last, like, five years. She had passed last winter, um, and it's been almost a year, so, um... He, that guy moved in in April, I believe. Um, so he's been in there for a few months. We thought maybe he was just here for the summer. Uh, but no, I guess, I don't, I, we don't know what's going on. But we will probably be getting in new neighbors here in the next few months. And I am not excited. Um... The lady that was living there before she passed away, she was the sweetest person. She was so, she, like, she was just genuinely nice. She was, you know, she minded herself. Um, she didn't worry about, you know, what was going on around her. Um, she kept to herself unless she was spoken to, which that's the kind of neighbor that was nice because I could go on about my day. I could stop and say hi. Um... And stuff like that and you know it was great however the guy that was living there before um, that you know that's currently being evicted or whatever um, he would always always get very handsy with Ella like he would always want her to give him a hug or do this and do that I'm like oh thank you um, if we were walking over from here to my mother-in-law's house, uh, which is the fifth house here in the lane, um, he would always stop us and say hi, and if we didn't answer him, he just kept repeating hi, and it was just not, I don't know, it was very weirded out about the guy. Um, they obviously did do a background check on him and everything and everything came back normal, but he was just a really kind of creepy vibes that I got from him and like split personalities. Like he would always be drinking and then his girlfriend would come over and they would stop drinking and he would have no alcohol in the house. It was just really weird. Um, so I don't know what's going to go on with that, but... I am so tired. Um, so I got all those tags removed. <clears throat> and then our mac and cheese is rip rare ready to go for tonight. So this has cheddar and Swiss cheese in it. Um, <clears throat> but it's just, you know, traditional mac and cheese. Um, it does need reheated tonight. Um, and like baked a little longer. But overall, it's pretty solid. So, you yeah, know, that's always good. Um, I need to finish cleaning up out here. I need to sweep and swiffer and get everything all cleaned up. What is that from? I don't know. Um, but yeah, just get everything all kind of put away and organized. Um, it's Friday. Alexa, is today Friday? Yes, today is Friday, October 16th, 2020. Yep, so it is Friday currently. Um, I think, like I said, I think our friend's going to come over Saturday night. So we've got that to do. Um, but otherwise, I just need to kind of clean up and organize out here. And wipe down counters and stuff like that. But 